So we look at geese. It says geese, a script used as in Abigada. For several languages of Eritrea, Ethiopia originate in Abijad. Um, and first used the geese. So when you look at the Amharic, or right, Negus, the term nigger. Now we look at Semitic languages and how the English has used ancient Semitic terms in a connotative derogatory form. Perfect example is the term negus and um, nigger, as we're going to see how its original form reference rulers and measuring of kings, thrones. When you look at the terms, even Christian is associated with the term nigger. So as we dive into this um, hard word in the Guise language known as negus, right? A ruler, ruler, king of kings in this title, when we're talking about the fear of the black messiah of their rising up, a messianic, right? We're talking about the crown. When you look at what's taking place now with the coronavirus, understand the the chronic rising, the corona rising, and the timing along with the cosmic representation of the great dragon, the Draco, the Negus, the Naga, the serpent, and how these things have been demonized when you understand uh, cosmic medicine and the need to grow agriculture and um, the connection with agriculture, medicine, farming, pharmacies, and um, the demonization of uh, that. That When you look at the Canaanites in the original land of Canaan, the promised land, um, and we look at Semitic languages and the tracing of ancient Semitic languages, and we're talking about the demonizing of the people, right, and how they use the terms that originally reference kingship to be derogatory. So we look at the term nigger as we use it as an example, which is in reference to the goose, as we see in the New Testament around the time where Ethiopia becomes the first Christian nation, one of the first Christian nations around 70 AD, around the um, time that the Jews originally suffered persecution and fled into Ethiopia around the 70 AD, you see the term Niger referring to Christians. You have to understand the time reference so you don't fall into the anachronism use of nigger to just mean dark skin. We understand that originally Negus referred to the Semitic, we understand the Melchizedek order and the Semitic order and the original priesthood. They were called Kohen. So when you look at the Kohens in the Semitic Melchizedek order um, of these shamans dealing with pharmaceutical medicines and the demonization of pharmacy, agricultural land, right? Land titles and stripping of land titles and removing of practices of agriculture and protecting land regions to do developments and to do practices of religious things involving agriculture. If you look at all of the original tribes, their cultivation is built upon cosmic representation and agriculture growth of their, um, exchange for crops with one another. Uh, so when you look at the term the goose and this Amharic, it says king of kings, rulers of rulers. And you see here in Acts, the 13th chapter in the Latin, the Greek, right? You use the term Niger, right? Which is black Christian, as we know, was originally was changed to be offensive as ignorant in a sense. So you see here how us going to reveal the truth of who we are, how the layers that it that it opens up when you understand the relation of who we are as King and King, Lord and Lords, and being we look at Judah and the scepter not departing from Judah and these ancient Semitic languages and the establishing of Ethiopia. When you look at Ethiopia, you have to understand it's impossible for black people to be anti-Semitic when it says right here that Ethiopian, which means black, has Semitic languages. So that means they speak natively Semitic languages. So that means they have to be, in a sense, Semitic people. You understand what I'm saying? And it says Ethiopian, you understand this is the the ignorance in it so you look at understand Ethiopia means black Ethiopia dark black face so to say to to play the game as if you don't as if there's not black Semites when you know in language you would say Ethiopian Semitic 
and that would reference the people related to the biblical people that it looked just like the people. And in the scriptures, in that same scripture, it says, Are thou now as the Ethiopian unto me? Which can mean many different references, right? Manners, customs, traditions, and even appearance. So we understand this. It is impossible for us to be anti Semitic. We understand we come from Shem. We understand the Melchizedek order, the original priests, the original order that we established as a pharmaceutical, agricultural, cosmic priesthood that relied on the cosmic relation of the stars and planets to govern our crops and our lands to make sure we could provide an abundance to those that we took an account for. That's what a ruler does. 